news of the NIA, the National Investigation Agency, which has arrested Hezbul Mujahideen chief, also the so-called United Jihad Council head Said Salahuddin's son in a 2011 terror funding case. He will be produced in court and action will be taken depending on what the court orders. The NIA has been investigating alleged terror funding and in the last three months has also charged and arrested several separatist leaders. Neeta Sharma joining us from the capital and Nazir Masoodi is in Srinagar. Uh, Nazir, has he been produced in court as yet? Well, I think Nita would be in a better position to talk about when he will be produced in the court in Delhi because he has been arrested in Delhi yesterday. Summon was served to him uh, by the NIA through Jammu and Kashmir police in Badgam. Uh, Shahid Yusuf is an uh, employee in JNK Garments Agriculture Department and he's accused in the case of 2011, which is related to the Hawala funding and a evil contact. Ajaz Ahmed, but according to NIA statement, was sending money to him and he was receiving money from him. That is NI uh, allegations against uh, Shahid Yusuf. He is one of the five sons, Salahuddin's sons. And Salahuddin, as we know, he has been declared a global terrorist by the US, and he is the most wanted militant in Jammu and Kashmir as well. And uh, his, his, his family has been always under the scanner, but all his children are government employees, and he's also a government employee. And today, he has been formally, this child has been formally arrested. The question is, will it have any impact on the talks or the peace initiative they start by the center? Yesterday, separatists have not, you know, responded to the center's move so far, nor have they responded to, you know, what happened today. Will it have any adverse impact on it? Some are saying these you know, talks have been, you know, announced at a time when Huriyat, all the Huriyat leaders are facing NIA probe and some of their relatives are under, under, under Huriyat in this NIA custody. Will it work or some people would be accused that, look, they are not this time talking to the government because of the pressure from the NIA because their own skin is involved. Because earlier, NIA, Korea has always, you know, snubbed all the talks whenever it's sent appointed, you know, interlocutors to talk to them. They have not talked. Will they talk this time? But this is a huge development in a sense. Just a day after center's peace initiative, NIA has uh, son in Delhi. Right, uh, Neeta, as Nazir is pointing out, all this uh, comes just a day after Rajnath Singh appointed the center's interlocutor for Jammu and Kashmir. Absolutely, Anitab, it's a pressure tactic which is also being played by the center. On one hand, they have initiated a dialogue process. On the second hand, the, the NIA is uh, continuing with the crackdown. We know in 2010, when the interlocutors, the three interlocutors had gone to Valley, none of the separatist leaders had come to meet Mr. Dilipar Gaunkar, Radha Kumar and Nesis Ansari. So this time, maybe the center is trying to, you know, trying to call them to table so so that some talks can uh, take place or so they can you know give away their stated position that is they will not talk within the frameworks of the constitution but the government of india clearly wants the talks to be held within the framework of the constitution on the other hand the nia clearly says that uh, shahid yusuf was called to nia headquarters today morning and when today he came he was confronted with the evidence the wire transfers and also uh, talks and also chit chats with izaz uh, to which he agreed upon that his it was his voice and that is why he was arrested uh, today afternoon he would be produced in a local daily court uh, the nia officials tell us that he would be remanded to police custody um, seeking they are seeking the police custody and most probably he will be remanded to police custody and from there on the case would uh, further they will investigate the case amitabh